Chronic pain is extraordinarily common. It is uh, affecting approximately one in five to one in six Americans, which means we're looking at anywhere from 50 million Americans or more who suffer on a daily basis from chronic pain. The sad thing about chronic pain is it affects uh, everybody. It doesn't discriminate. It affects men, women, young, old. It uh, does tend to increase in incidence uh, with uh, age, and so with our aging population, we are unfortunately going to be seeing even more people suffering from chronic pain. The most common reasons are conditions such as low back pain, neck pain, uh, headaches, uh, abdominal pain, uh, pelvic pain, back pain being uh, probably one of the most common reasons patients go to see a doctor uh, only uh, superseded by the common cold. We're beginning to think more and more of pain as a chronic disease in and of its own right, much like any other chronic disease that we have in society, much like diabetes, like heart disease, asthma. And if we think about those chronic conditions, we haven't cured a single one of them, but we've got great ways of managing them. We work very hard to first diagnose what's going on with the patient, and then to put together a treatment plan that's comprehensive in nature that includes a large part of education to help them understand what's going on with their bodies, why they're experiencing pain, and what they need to do to ultimately move forward and to get better. I like to think of the treatment for chronic pain as involving four major categories of therapies. So we have pharmacologic treatment. This involves the medications, interventional approaches. These are nerve blocks. These are anything from simple trigger point injections, epidural steroid injections, peripheral nerve blocks, all the way up to implantation of spinal cord stimulators, implantation of drug delivery systems. Again, these are more advanced techniques. Third, physical uh, rehabilitative approaches, physical therapy and occupational therapy. It's crucially important that patients get uh, re-engaged with uh, their bodies, that they learn how to strengthen their bodies, increase endurance, that they have education about their bodies. Fourth, these are psychological and behavioral approaches. Approaches that uh, many people often want to skip over because they feel that by acknowledging those approaches that somehow the doc may be thinking that it's all in their head. And I work very hard to disabuse patients of that notion. The key to this is, and I think what is unique about our center and what's unique about other very comprehensive multidisciplinary centers is the way that we bring it all together. And that is to bring it together in a team-oriented approach where all of these components are used together by people coming from different specialties and all working together in one location. And that's where uh, we get the best results and that's where the research shows that you will get the best results.